Hey, it's Beth here. Episode 563, okay. I was afraid to do it. I almost talked myself out of it. But I actually put money on the counter to go see The Fabulous Four. Just hoping that it would have something. Bette Midler, Susan Sarandon. I mean, really. Just make it, I mean, Megan... Maloli or whatever her name is. I like her. I sort of know her. I don't know her really well. And then Cheryl Lee Ralph. I don't know really well. Okay, they're pretending they're all the same age. They're not all the same age. Okay? Bet is 78. Susan Sarandon is 77. Megan is 67. And Cheryl is 65. And they act like they're all the same age. We're also pretending that Susan is still a major heart surgeon at 77 years old. Not wanting to retire, no, no, no. She's been carrying a grudge since her early 20s. Never fallen in love with another man. Has a couple of cats. That's all. Okay? Like, I could get this storyline, and I think it was written by young girls. Okay, it's your storyline. It's what happens between 20 and 30. Not between 20 and 77. Okay? A life happens. Things happen. People change. I'm so tired of these young people writing and directing stories for us. They think we're asexual garden gnomes. And it's just hilarity ensuing when we have little sexual moments. It's so pandering. I'm so sick of it. We are the generation that grew up on some great movies like Annie Hall, Easy Rider, Last Picture Show, Godfather, MASH, Producers, Butch Cassidy, Manchurian Candidate. That's just the beginning. Great writing, great directors, great acting. Lots of time put into it. Lots of thought put into it. This movie today felt like a senior class project. And then at the end, they do this song and it's, you know, I can see clearly. Okay. It's Cheryl who can sing. It's Bette who can sing. And they don't even get to sing. It's like a first take practice. The dancing is ridiculous. And so I waited, waited and waited and waited, thinking that something would happen after the credits. The only thing I learned in the credits were the two cats in the movies, in the movie were Susan Sarandon's. That's not all the nepotism that was going on. There were 50 producers on this movie, 50 people getting credit for this movie. Daddy did it. Okay? It's just so badly made. And the story? No, that's not how we feel about life. It's, oh, so bad. It's so ridiculous. They don't care for each other. There's no interest in anything. There's a pat on, I'm sorry, at the end. There, I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting for something to happen. It's so badly done. The writing is so poor. They, there, it isn't even funny. They can't even pull it off. Nothing happens. It's just, it's subpar. It's so poorly written. And this is from my demographic. Don't insult me. Don't insult us. This isn't even worthy of a, a flight to Schenectady. I don't want you to watch it. I mean, maybe you can do it while you're folding laundry or, you know, waxing your car, cleaning your floor, doing your nails. This is not, this is just, this is the worst one of the, of the lot. Everybody's saying it. They shouldn't have done it. I guess they just want to work and I get it. But why don't we just find screenplays that we wrote? find directors in our age group. What's the matter with that? We can tell a story. We can make it good. Quit making these kids. They don't understand anything about us. It's so pandering. It's so insulting. 
every single time. It's just so insulting. This one was the absolute worst. So, I mean, when it comes to Netflix, do it for free. But there isn't a moment that I can think of that rang true. Not one. Oh, and of course, they're the most popular people in the world in Key West. Everywhere they go, everyone loves them. Give me a break. No. No. Okay? I'd rather hear a story like Velma. Tell me the truth. Just, oh, it just makes me wonder what these actors, who they think they are. Like, do they actually believe that? Ugh. So, just almost the worst movie I've ever seen. Just want you to know, this is a health. I'm trying to save you, your mental health. Okay, this is a public announcement. Don't watch this movie if you're in a bad mood or you feel weak or you've just had a bad phone call. Watch it. Watch it when you've got something in your tank where you can take it or you're just so bored. If you just watch it when your expectations are on the ground. All right? I mean, they don't even dress them well. It's like, what is going on? The lighting's bad for old women. They didn't even try. This is the the director, the artistic direction. Everything is so awful. It's just, everything is, it's, it's a repeat of the first Wives Club, which was fabulous. Olivia Goldsmith's book was great. The director was great. The acting was great. The story had a lot of meat on it. Everybody got something to say. Everybody wanted something. That one was good. It was light and fluffy, but it was good. This was, the the script was horrible. So it didn't give the actors a chance to do anything. Ugh. Anyway, that's what I've got. Crazy worst movie ever. Blah. What a, I mean, Thank God the trolls have deserted me because they all would have died. That's all I got. Try to stay sane. I am not okay. I just feel like such a waste of their talent. Such an insulting movie to women in my age group. So insulting if young people think this is what we like and this is who we want to watch and this is who we think we are. Ah. Anyway, it's over. Gotta let it go. Got it. Got to snap out of it. I'm just warning you. Be careful. Okay, I'll be back. Thanks. They fly so high Nearly reach the sky 